What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Models. And here is Gun Tank RX-75 Master Grade from the original Gundam series 0078 or is it 79? Oh, whatever. But today I am going to build this boy, this baby. He's a big box and it is actually a big kid based on its size and girth but don't be fooled that because it's big it's hollow it's actually packed with detail and parts galore let's uh, look inside and see what we have here actually before we look inside let's look at some of the features that this kit has hopefully you guys can see this I'll keep it in this angle um, here it displays the arm joints, the cannons, uh, some of the springs and suspension of the uh, of the vehicle. Uh, I don't know why they call this the Bob missile. I'll have to look up the uh, the technical manual on online to find out what why they call it a Bob. Uh, some other features as well. Oh, by the way, this comes with a core fighter, the from the uh, 2.0 series, from the Gundam 2.0 uh, kit. Uh, again, more features here uh, what the kit looks like. Figures, open and closing ducts, the outriggers, the, the support struts that hold down the vehicle while it's firing its cannons. Uh, here's a detail of the cockpit right there, both in the head and the bot and the uh, unit uh, where the core block is here's the core fighter which of course it comes with some sort of uh, clear part for the wheel assembly and I guess it could you could also say the uh, canopy but I'm not too sure now here's the uh, section where it comes with a light unit you know an LED which I think now every Gundam Master Grade kit that comes out should come with an LED. They, I think now that should be the de facto. Even like the new kits, I, I'm, I did not notice if Quebly, the uh, the new one that's coming out in the, in the next month or so, will come with an LED. And I don't even know if uh, V Gundam will have one, but it should. It should. Now, big selling point for me is this part, the crawler or considering of course the tank treads tank treads on vehicles has been a bane in my existence when I built um, armored vehicles myself to get a better grasp of what I'm talking about I'm going to show you an example right here here are, here are two tanks here that I'm going to display Now, uh, this is an, uh, an Ertl kit that I picked up a long time ago, and this one's a Tamiya. Tank treads on armored vehicles comes in either two flavors. The flavor where the tanks are in, in, in one-piece sectionals, while when it comes to a curve, you have singular joints where you have to glue them together. And then you also have rubber, tank, rubber treads which just wraps around your the um, the tank uh, uh, tread assembly and you need to not glue them but you have to melt the, pl uh, the, the vinyl with a hot knife or um, for me I like to use a knife where I just melt the ends together and then they stay together put now there are aftermarket tank treads that you can actually pick up link them together and they'll look exactly better than the stock tracks that comes with standard models the excuse me standard uh, tank models these days and those are a lot ex are you know really expensive and time consuming they're pretty much sometimes the same price as the model kit itself so at this point in time I really like to uh, um, I'm really hoping to see how the tanks treads on this vehicle will compare with other model um, other model kits that you the other armored kits so let's open this up and see what we have here all right we got the manual here let me 
There's the decals. This is the only part of red that this vehicle has. Uh, the uh, this is here is the uh, tank assembly, the treads. Excuse me, um, the wheel assembly. Excuse me. Uh, the only portion of light blue on this, I think. No, excuse me. It's like a navy blue. This one's the light blue, and I could. This could be for the core fighter and yellow, of course. Uh, the gun assembly, some track assembly. Well, I'm guessing here because I haven't looked at the manual yet. Uh, this pretty much dictates the uh, the uh, suspension assembly. This is kind of like a giveaway right there. The outer portion of the hull. There is the LED for the head. Um, this is more suspension assembly. This is a lot of assembly for the for the body. The gun assembly. Eh, interesting though. And of course, what I was looking forward to the uh, linkage assembly. As you can see, each one I have to separate and then clip them on together so it'll be like a chain. Um, obviously this will probably be the last portion of the kit for me to build. Or maybe not. We'll soon focus that in a second. Now let's review the manual. Just give me a second while I put these back in this box and we'll go on to the next section. Now then, I have to admit the artwork on this uh, on this manual and of course on the box is top notch. Now, here is an example of another armored vehicle that was released, I think, this year or last year. This one's the, the um, a 135th scale tank. This double barrel tank, I don't remember the name or the actual code, but this came out when they were doing the uh, MS Igloo 2 series. On, in the second episode, this tank came out as the, uh, as the titled vehicle. Very nice uh, tank, and to tell you the truth, the model for this, which is at 135th scale, which is probably a little bit bigger than the Abrams that I showed you, it's probably going to cost me a good 80 bucks or something like that, maybe 90 if I ever see that less than 50, it's mine. Alright, so here we cover the core fighter assembly, the body unit, in which case also ends with the head. Here is some um, painting guide, uh, MS Tracks and UOC 0079. I don't know what that means. I gotta learn Japanese. Some mecha mechanicism here. Weaponry display on this page. Uh, finishing up the head unit, of course. Then moving on to the arms and ca famous cannons. Then this page covers the body, which is about one, two, three, four five and a half pages thick and then of course putting it all together and then of course detailing it this is going to be a nice kit to build I always did like this one my only gripe is I wish this tank was radio controlled um, there's it, it is possible to make it radio controlled considering that the wheels and the tracks is prepped and ready to go but I guess somehow you're gonna have to gut the inside of this uh, of the chassis frame put a motor in there and, uh, and, and battery compartment and some sort of uh, device that will you know be the transmitter just so you can get some forward back and turn left and right uh, action there was a prototype on YouTube where it can do everything plus moving the arms and cannons, but they removed it. Well, anyway, let's begin building Gun Tank. <laughs> 